Hi, I'm Mr. Slunky Fix. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be starting on my ruckus. I've been buying and selling things my whole life, and by the time I was eight, I had gathered enough funds to buy this Honda Ruckus. Uh, I haven't done much modification on it yet, other than adding a custom exhaust. And I'm about to turn 14, so I wanted to get the paint job done so that it looked cool by the time I'm legally allowed to drive it on the road. I may not be able to do crazy modifications, well, not at least not yet, uh, on this because I, as you may have seen on my other videos, I have a nice, cool, custom uh, boogie band, and I'm going to be devoting most of my funds to that. So, right now I'm just going to be doing the paint job, and I'm going to be doing slight modifications, like moving signal lights to the reflector position, and extending the seat frame just a little bit, about four inches. And that's about it for the uh, super noticeable modifications that isn't the paint job. So I think that since today I'm going to be dismantling it uh, to get ready for the paint job, I think we should probably crack on with that. So here we go. Now just before we start dismantling this, I kind of want to talk about the paint job a little bit. Uh, most of it we're going to be doing in a uh, green base coat with the mini Cayman blue flake from House of Color. I'm really in love with teal right now, so I'm really excited about it because it has a nice variation where it goes from blue to green. I'm pretty excited for that in a nice summer day. Uh, and we are going to be polishing the variator cover uh, and other engine pieces we're going to be painting silver such as the air intake and various other parts around the vehicle with silver with the F15 silver from House of Color. I'm just excited for this paint job. It's going to look awesome in my opinion and yeah let's get into the dismantling. So this is about as dismantled as it's going to get right now. Uh, we, I've got these four helmets here that are going to get painted the same as the bike. Got different sizes depending on which passenger we have. Then I at least got a size that will fit them. See you at the shop. So here we are at the uh, shop. Everything is in. Uh, in like it's all stripped and <laughs> got that little sissy bar uh, welded on with the extension to the seat frame as well yeah everything is ready to get primer the helmets are ready to be painted as well uh, yeah there's there's even the gas tank because we're going to be doing that as well. We've got a lot of stuff to paint here. But I guess it's for the best, hey? And here are the uh, wheels and engine parts. The things that are getting painted silver. These are all uh, basically ready to go. Got these already in primer. Okay, now we got uh, 
everything in primer. <laughs> Everything's a little bit uh, more black, okay? But I guess this primer, uh, I've been told, is a really good primer. So I'm really hoping it is. But uh, everything's got a coat of it. So we're basically ready to go with the painting. So everything has the, uh, the green base coat that we're putting on, on it right now. And I really like it already. Not going to lie. It looks awesome. And I'm really excited for when it gets the flake. I mean, you can't you can't argue this. This looks awesome. Like, man, I, if I didn't have the flake, I'd still be fine. You know, it still looks awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I really like it. And here are the uh, silver parts. They're all painted as well. I really like them too. Like, like really. They look awesome. Like I said, even without the flake, I'd still be fine. You know. All right. Here's uh. Here's the flake, on all the teal stuff. It's. It's awesome. I love it. And it's not even on the bike yet. Like. I mean. <laughs> you gotta admit this thing looks pretty. Helmets too, like just awesome. You can see it on the video too. With all the flake sure looks awesome. And here's all the silver stuff, like the wheels and the engine parts. I I really like how it looks because you know. It's really, really shiny, as you can see. I just think it's gonna look awesome on like a nice summer day. And we got the uh, other pieces. It's also, I think it's a really good accent color, you know? Really is gonna work well with the teal. And I like that we were able to get it all um, just everything that wasn't already going to be teal, I was able to get silver. So, I really like that. Yeah, all in all, I'm excited. I really just want to get it back home and reassemble it. Let's do this. fall apart solar flares arrive buildings collapse only a few will survive the world as we know it will no longer be there be there water is gone Oh,
now it's time to build the base for the seat extension. I'm going to be using some 3 quarter inch treated plywood that I have lying around. And before I do that, I'm going to make a template using some cardboard. Just so that I don't have 5 million pieces of plywood just lying around being useless. So, let's get right into it. So I followed my template, it looks like it turned out pretty good, I'm liking it. But we're going to have to test fit it on the bike to see if it really did work. I like it. It fits really well. It fits in between the uh, welds that we have here. But I don't like this little sticking out part here. That'll be hard to upholster. I'm probably going to have to uh, cut it at an angle here that follows with the kick up bar on the seat here. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. So we got our piece with an angle now, we're going to check it out and mark some holes if it's good. Now we're ready to drill some holes. So I've got my base plate all done and ready, and I've got the foam and the leather that I'm going to put on it. I got it out of an Acura TLX that I found at the local Auto Wreckers. It cost me a whopping two dollars and forty-five cents. Uh, I picked it though because it has a similar color and grain structure as the factory Honda Ruckus seat, so I didn't want to have it mismatched. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace the base plate onto the bottom of the foam and then I'm going to cut it with this foam cutter and then I'm going to glue it on and shape it with this grinder. So, 
Let's get right into it. So, the glue is set up for about a day, and uh, it's ready to have the trim done so that it's in line with the seat, so that it has the angle that we need, and then I can upholster it. So, I'm going to make a little line just to make sure that it's a good angle uh, for a quick earlier cut, just so we know that the seat can close with the foam there. So I'm going to do that right now. Now we've got the uh, final shave done on the foam. I like the angle. I think it looks very smooth. But we gotta see if it'll work with the small amount of leather that we got from the armrest. And I'm gonna line it up here with the seam just because I want it to look proper on the back there. Now I've got the cushion bolted on, and I think it turned out pretty good. It would have been nice to have a little bit more material though, but it'll suit me just fine. And it will make it a lot easier to have a passenger on it. It's all done, and I just turned 14 and I went and got my learner's license, but 16 is coming up way sooner than I expected, so I've got to get a lot more work done on my uh, 70s show van that I've been restoring. You may have seen it in some of my older videos, but I just wanted to get this done before the snow is all gone, just so that I can have it ready for when it's gone. I forgot how cool this thing sounded. I put on this aftermarket exhaust when I first got it a few years ago. And it's been so long I don't even remember what brand it is now. 
If you guys have any idea of what brand this is, I'd really like to know. But with all that being said, I, I really hope you enjoyed this Ruckus build. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see what I do with that van, then please consider subscribing and turning on notifications. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise, say all the words out of my mind about who I'm supposed to be. I start to believe, I can't get it right. Remember the days I let slip away, they were simpler times. Mama told me before you leave, if there's only one thing you remember from me. Child, when you're out on your own, a million